Brakti Hawa Brakata Yehosha Brakti Hawa Brakata Yehosha Bahashan Rakakwadash the bonus to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled Addressing the Common Board. This question comes from Simone Singh 6540. And the question was, Shalom, I have a question. If a man has no children, how will he come back? Also, this question was posted on the platform of GMS, Prisoners of Yahweh Shah. Video entitled, Exception to the Rule, Judas the Lost Iscariot. And again, the question was, Shalom, I have a question. If a man has no children, how will he come back? Let's go to Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. The focal point for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Case in point. So to answer your question, we will use the accounts of Ur and Onan. Let's go to Genesis chapter 38 and verse 1. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a certain Adolamite, whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in unto her. And she conceived and bare a son and he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she called his name Onan. And she yet again conceived and bare a son and called his name Shalah. And he was at Shazib, Shazib or Salakia. Shazib. Shazib, when she bare him, and Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of Yahweh, and Yahweh slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, Go in unto your brother's wife. And marry her and raise up seed to your brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass when he went in unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground, lest that he should give seed to his brother. Now let's read this in the NLT. But Onan was not willing to have a child who would not be his own heir. So whenever he had intercourse with his brother's wife, he spilled the semen on the ground. This prevented her from having a child who would belong to his brother. Back in the KJV. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord Yahweh, wherefore he slew him also. So, <clears throat> Ur had no children. And according to the law, Judah instructed Onan to have intercourse with his brother's wife. For what? So, basically, that seed could be raised up for his brother. Now, if you can receive this in the spirit, through the process of reincarnation, his brother 
would have came back through that seed. Why? Because that lineage goes back to the father, Judah. Okay? Again, if Onan would have ejaculated into Tamar, then through the process of reincarnation, Ur would have came back through that seed, through the process of reincarnation. Okay? And again, Ur had no children. That's the reason why, according to the law, if this thing happened, your brother was to go into your wife and raise up seed. Okay? This is one way Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah could have done this. Okay? Also, just to explain the magnificent power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, let's go to Matthew 3 and 9. Okay, yeah, Matthew 3 and 9. And this is John the Baptist preaching. Let's go to, let's start at verse 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees, he referring to John the Baptist, came to his baptism. He said unto them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up sons unto Abraham. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has unlimited power. Omnipotent. Okay? Omnipotent. Again, Matthew 3 and 9. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up sons unto Abraham. Okay? Lord, will you edify Shalom?